Hi, kindergartners. This is Miss Moses, and I am here for our Wednesday afternoon math lesson. So our objective for today is that students will be able to subtract numbers using drawings. So students will be able to subtract numbers using drawings. So let's first review what subtraction is. So when we subtract, we use the minus sign and the equal sign. Say minus, good. Say equals, very good. So first, I'm going to show you how to subtract numbers using drawings. Then we will subtract numbers using drawings together. And then there will be some problems for you to do all by yourself on a piece of paper. Let's get started with the I do. So first, I'll show you. So I'm looking at this subtraction number sentence, and I'm going to solve it by using drawings. So it says 6 minus 2 equals blank. So first, I'm going to need to show 6 circles. So I'm going to draw 6 circles to show the 6 that I'm starting with. Because I know in subtraction, I start with a group, and then I'm going to minus some of them. So some of them are going to go away and then I'll figure out what that equals. So I'm first going to show six, six circles. Watch me draw my six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I drew six circles because there's six to start in my group. Now I see the minus sign. Minus means that I'm going to have to show them going away. So I'm going to cross them off. How many will I cross off? I'll cross off two because it says six minus two. So I'm gonna cross off two. One, two. I crossed off two. Now, what does that equal? I need to count how many are left. There are one, two, three, four left. So six minus two equals four. Now I'm going to do the next one. First, I'm going to read my number sentence. This says seven minus five equals blank. So I need to figure out what is seven minus five equal to. So I know that first, I'm going to draw seven circles because that's the group that I'm starting with. Here I go, I'm gonna draw seven circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I see the minus symbol, so that means I'm going to show some going away. So I'm going to cross some off. How many do I cross off? I cross off five because it says seven minus five, so minus five. Now I'm going to cross off five. One, two, three, four, five. So I had seven circles because it says seven to start and then minus five, I crossed off five because it says minus five. Now I want to know what does that equal? How many are left? I'm going to count the circles that are not crossed off. How many are left? I see that there are one, two circles left. So I'll write a two. Two circles left. Seven minus five equals two. Now we're going to solve some subtraction number sentences together using drawings. Are you ready? Get a piece of paper out so that you can draw those circles with me. Here we go. All right, let's read this one together. Eight minus six equals blank. So which number tells us how many circles we need to draw to start. Yeah, that one, the eight. So we need to first draw eight circles to start. You draw eight circles on your paper and then I'll draw eight circles up here. Okay, go ahead, draw eight. Did you get it? Okay, watch me. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you have the same thing on your paper? Awesome. All right, what do we see next? Yeah, that's the minus. Say minus. Very good. So that means how many are we going to be taking away? How many are we going to cross off? Well, the next number we see is a what? Yeah, it's a six. So we need to cross off six circles because it says minus six. So I want you to cross off six circles on your paper and then I will show you up here. Cross off six circles. Go ahead. Did you get it? All right, watch me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we crossed off six circles, so we did eight minus six. Now we need to know what does it equal? You count how many circles are left. How many? Yeah, did you get two? All right, let's read it together. Eight minus six equals two. Very good kindergartners. So you should have drawn eight circles to start, then you crossed off six, you figured out it equals two because we see one, two circles left. Okay, let's do one more problem together. This is our next problem. Let's read the number sentence together. Four minus three equals blank. So how many circles do you need to draw first on your paper? Yeah, we need to draw four circles because the first number in our number sentence is a four. So that's how many we're going to draw to start. You draw four on your paper and then I'll draw four circles up here. Did you draw four? Okay, let's draw four up here. One, two, three, four. So I drew four circles because we're starting with four and you have four circles on your paper. What do we need to do next? Well, it says minus, minus means that we're going to cross some off. How many will we cross off? Yeah, we'll cross off three. So on your paper, you cross off three circles. Go ahead. Did you get it? You crossed off three, watch me. One, two, three. How many are left? What does it equal? How many circles are left? Yeah, I see one. Let's read it together. Four minus three equals one. Very good kindergartners. Okay, so now it's going to be your turn to solve some problems by yourself. So on your paper, I want you to write these problems. So write 10 minus six equals blank. Then I want you to write seven minus four equals blank. Make sure you're giving your, yourself space between the problems. Then write eight minus eight equals blank. And then write nine minus three equals blank. Okay, kindergartners. Now, if you finished solving those subtraction number sentences using drawing, I will show you the answers. So if you're ready, look up at the, at the screen to see the answers to the problems you just solved. If you're not done, you should pause the video so that you don't get the answers before you're done solving them. Okay, kindergartners, here are the answers to the subtraction number sentences that you just solved. So let's read them. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Did you get that? Did you get 4? Good work. Going down. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Woo, good for you. This one was tricky. 8 minus 8 equals 0 because you probably crossed all of them off. 
And then the last one was 9 minus 3 equals 6. If you want to keep solving some more number sentences, I put some in the description section of the YouTube video that you can write down some more subtraction number sentences to solve. So ask your mom or dad to look at the description and they will get some more subtraction number sentences that you can solve. Okay, kindergartners, great job solving these subtraction number sentences today. Okay, bye for now.